Hey everyone and welcome back to Bad Wolf Farms. Not anymore. Okay guys, I'm changing the name of the farm. So it happens to be the one year anniversary of my channel on YouTube and it has been on my heart almost since we started to change the name of the farm. And I could just not find the right name. I looked everywhere. I, I, I just, I was trying to find all the things that meant something in my heart and in my spirit and I couldn't find it. And if I did find it, somebody already had it. And the Lord kind of just spoke to me. So a few weeks ago, we had, uh, we were having a goat birth and we had had a miscarriage before and now we had another doe that was in labor, clearly, but she was definitely in some sort of distress. So, to make this story not very long, um, I called over my good friends who are amazing uh, farming women, uh, women in agricultural, and they're just awesome. They're awesome friends. Um, they came over, uh, actually I called them, and they were trying to walk me through what needed to happen to this doe to try to save you know her baby or just her life and all this is going on i can't help get the baby out um so i reach out to my church group right and i'm like hey guys i need prayers you know i have a doe in distress and she's in labor and the baby's not coming out i need help so this um wonderful brother in christ calls his calls me actually and says hey my wife wants to talk to you and she's also a, a woman of faith and she also has a farm so she starts walking me through everything you know she she tells us what to do how to do it and at the same time i'm also getting messages on my phone by my other farming friends um one of the advice that was given to me by one of my farming friends was you know things look grim it seems to be that we may have to um you know decapitate the baby or take the baby out in pieces and i'm hearing these things and though there is a time and maybe a place for something like this it was not what i was looking to hear it was not what i thought god was telling me okay and this mighty woman of God, um, she's on the phone and I'm telling her what, what's being said. And she said, no, she says, that is not kingdom farming. And that just spoke to my heart so very much because we have been having not the best past year. Okay. I apologize for the geese guys. They are really loud today. They don't want to see me here. Anyways, we were not having a good year and I literally gave my farm to the Lord. Um, it's his farm, it's not my farm. And I know that his will is completely different than what I'm physically seeing on my farm. So her words of this isn't kingdom farming really spoke to me and it really did something inside of me that I have been claiming um, all sorts of health and uh, prosperity and you know no deaths just you know live you know just births i've been literally praying and claiming these things from the lord that it's really it's his absolute will for our farm to prosper and to flourish and i really had to change my mentality into kingdom farming mentality and that's it that's where i got it so the name has changed. It is no longer Bad Wolf Farm. It is our kingdom homestead because this is exactly what this place is to us. This is our homestead, though we do sell and it is a farm. This is our homestead and it's his, it's all his. There's a, a Bible verse that I'm going to have to find and put down below where it says, you know, um, I don't need your goats. I don't need your 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 cows. Um, the the animals of the forest are all mine. The birds are mine. It is literally all his. So that's it. That's the news. One year anniversary of my channel. 
we've changed the name and it's called our kingdom homestead i hope you guys like it and that was it i just had to make a quick video and let you guys know what was up because i'm excited and i'm excited to see what god is doing so guys surround yourselves with um just positive words remember whatever we speak you know it comes into existence and i'm not talking hippy dippy baloney stuff i'm talking um holy spirit stuff so pray over your farms pray over your animals um pray over yourselves your families and just see what amazing things god can do so in the end we did lose that baby the the mom did make it we're getting milk from her right now but the Lord blessed us with four babies, okay, from two separate moms. So God is good. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Love you guys, and God bless you. Bye.